My name is Dudley Edmondson. Uh, I live in Duluth, Minnesota. I'm a freelance photographer, filmmaker, and author. Yeah, I've been an outdoor person pretty much my entire life, even as a kid. I actually, it really started when I was a kid. My uh, parents used to take us on picnics. I'd wander off into the woods near the picnic area and just explore and hang out and stuff. And uh, that, for me, was very therapeutic, uh, getting away from the, the city and stuff. Uh, so I really en enjoyed being outdoors. Um, and so just nature in general has always been something that's uh, been a huge part of my life. You know, bird watching really started in junior high school, but it wasn't until I got into high school and my art teacher was a big time bird watcher and, and he formed a bird watching club with some of the students. And I was one of maybe four uh, nerdy kids who joined. He raised enough money to go on a birding trip to Texas from Ohio. And, and seeing all the birds in Texas and his ability to identify those birds with, really with at just a glance, he would just look at a bird and say, Crested Caracara or Plain Chachalaca or something like that. And it's like, wow, how did he do that? And that really just really got my interest. After I graduated from high school, I just really stuck with birds and, and then later became a, a bird photographer. Uh, for a long time, I specialized in birds of prey. Uh, so that's also part of the reason why I live where I live in, in Duluth, Minnesota. And it's nice now to just be able to really sit in my backyard and just look up and see hawks flying. I'm always birding. I'm either birding visually, I'm looking at birds, or I'm birding by ear. If I'm out of doors, I'm bird watching. You know, I, I came to Minnesota in the early 90s and I just wanted to be among wild things and, and in wilderness. And um, there was really nothing like that in Columbus, Ohio. I wanted to move to Minnesota because I love wilderness and it's super accessible, particularly on the North Shore. There's just plenty of places to access the out of doors and, and wilderness. It was a combination of, of taking pictures and then the process of developing them that really got me first interested in photography, but I stuck with it because it was a way to keep track of the birds I was seeing and, and uh, also I got into photographing wildflowers. You know, the ability to photograph nature and show people the beauty of nature, at least the way I see it. Uh, and so that's really what got me doing photography and got me interested in, in sticking with it didn't really consider myself to be a professional until I moved to Minnesota and that was in 1990, 89, 89, 90. And, and I felt like that this is the beginning of my professional career because I specifically moved to Minnesota for the sole purpose of being a professional photographer. But originally I thought that I wanted to be either a wildlife biologist or a game warden. Of course I wanted to be connected to nature but then I started thinking that eventually I would end up stuck at a desk. Uh, at, at some point in my career, I would be stuck at a desk, and that horrified me. So I just uh, decided that I wanted to, to be a nature photographer be also because of the creative aspect of it. The creative uh, control of photography and then still being connected to nature for me was, was a good combination. And so, uh, and besides, I, I suck at math. So uh, I just felt like being a, a biologist or a game warden, at some point, uh, the math would come back to haunt me, so. For me, water, it's, it's one of those things that everybody is attracted to. And, and we don't even know why. You know, water is constantly moving uh, it, for the most part, which makes it a fascinating subject to photograph. You know, my photography really is my way of showing people how I see the world around me. You can't see the way I see what I see. But, but if I capture that with a photograph, then you can see what I see. 
uh, because w two people could be looking at the same thing and not necessarily see the same thing or see it in the same way. And a camera and my photography, I feel like, gives me the ability to do that, to show people how I see the world, uh, which I would imagine is very different from the way other people see the world. When I go out to take a photo, I, I don't often know exactly what I'm looking for, but I don't know exactly what I'm going to capture. Nature moves very, very, very slow. Um, and when you're in the out of doors, you have to adjust yourself to that and slow yourself down to nature's time. If you're lucky, uh, you will come home with one, maybe two images you like. I've been an outdoor person, as I said, all my life. You know, as a young high school grad, and you know, I, I start traveling around the country, solo, camping and hiking and bird watching and things like that. Um, you know, I just found that there weren't a lot of, of people of color, particularly African Americans, in, in the outdoors, at least in the places that I was going. And so, after I became a professional nature photographer. Um, and started traveling even more, going to national parks and, and, and other public lands around the country. Again, I just found that there weren't a lot of people of color, um, at least Americans. I mean, there was some diversity in these spaces, but they were oftentimes people from other countries uh, that were visiting our national parks and our public lands. And um, So that got me interested in trying to, to figure out how I could get more people of color into the out of doors. My philosophy has always been I belong wherever I choose to be. Because I'm passionate about uh, access to public land, I refuse to allow anybody to deny me that privilege. And so I oftentimes try to encourage people of color and other African Americans to feel that same determination and, and passion for accessing public land. I take people out, I show them spaces that I visit uh, and show them that, you know, these spaces can be safe, but most, mostly to me, they belong to you and, and if you, you have to take ownership of them. I always encourage people that when you go into the out of doors to, to remember to slow down and, 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 and move at nature's pace.